What is up, guys? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Merry Christmas. I uh, hope all you guys had a very good Merry Christmas and uh, got many presents. Hopefully you got an HD PVR in there um, because that is what this video is about. Um, I figured some, some of my subscribers might have gotten an HD PVR for Christmas. Um, so I get, went ahead and made, or made this video. Um, if you have a Mac, then this video is for you. If you have a PC, I'm sorry. Um, this is only over Mac HD PVR settings. Uh, if a lot of my subscribers comment below and want a video for settings for you know PC, how to get the best settings, and I'll do a little research and I'll put one out. Um, more than likely, there are. I know there are a lot of videos on how to set up your HD PVR for a PC. But um, you know, if you're just not really getting really good video quality, then uh, I'll do some research and I'll put one out. But uh, if you have a Mac, then you're at the right place. This is where you get your HD PVR settings for your Mac. So first off, we're gonna go to uh, preferences on your ITV. Now ITV is one of the only programs that I know of uh, that is compatible with Mac, and is basically made for recording um, some type of video and for the HD PVR. Um, if you know of any pro other programs, please put it below. Um, but as far as I know, this is the only program, and this is the best program uh, in my opinion. It's around I think $100, 80 to $100, and uh, yeah, or you can get it, you know, at some place for free. Hint, hint. Anyways, um, yeah. So first, we're gonna go to ITV preferences. Make sure you click on general. Um, uh, make sure your live TV buffer is at 2,000 megabits. Um, let's see what else. There's not really much on these first things. Um, make sure your overscan is on. Full screen is on normal. Um, progressive scan is on standard TV, and HD TV is on progressive scan. Uh, you're gonna want to look up a video on how to, you know, put your settings right because. Uh, first time I tried to do it I just hooked it up and recorded and then get really too good uh, quality if you look at my first server video and to my videos now the quality is so much better anyways uh, you're gonna put these settings on hop hog and HTTP I'm not gonna click on it because it like tries to reset every time I do that so I'm just not even gonna click it your encoding picture none of this is gonna be different just your encoding so it should be on custom uh, you're gonna want to have it on constant bitrate on your video and your average bit rate at 13.5 millibits per second. Uh, so you're gonna want to have your audio on standard AAC. I tried AC3, but uh, I thought AAC had better video quality. But that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, you're gonna want to make sure this is on constant bit rate and average bit rate 13.5 megabits per second. Um, if you want to have video quality like I have in my videos, uh, just make sure you copy your settings uh, the same like mine. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Um, I think all this is the same. Uh, like I said, make sure your display is on overscan and full screen is on normal and progressive HD TV scan. And the device is 13.5 millibits per second, constant bit rate AAC. Cool. Okay, so let's grab a little sample real quick. All right. Got, uh, this is my screen. This is the quality that's recording in. And we're going to record something real quick. Um, basically, let's see. That was a fail. There we go. Do something like that. Record for about 20 seconds. That's fair, right? Okay, 22 second clip. I'm gonna go to my ITV. Um, click right here. I'm gonna go to export. Okay, before we do any of this, make sure your format is on H.264. Okay, cool. Um, let me see. There was a way that I used to. Um, there's a lot of formats on here. Um, make sure you get the one in the middle that says H.264. I used to record an MPEG 4 down there at the bottom. Um, but I switched to H.264 and I did notice a little bit of quality increase and that's it exported so, so, so much faster. Um, like I said, this is just my knowledge from testing out the stuff and grabbing stuff from different videos and finally, you know, doing like going in and actually changing settings myself rather than listening to somebody on a video. Um, and this is has given me the best quality. So um, yeah, if you want really good quality, like the quality I have in my videos, just follow my settings. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure this is on H.264. Uh, put it on the desktop as test, test number two. Uh, this is like my second time I've done this, so I have to name it number two on my desktop you see right here. Uh, I've already done it, but I re-recorded because um, I want to give you guys an actual clip of Modern Warfare 2. 
and let's see this is the uh, basically the raw export from um, from uh, ITV this is the quality you'll get from ITV if you use my settings uh, basically yeah all this blah 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 watch me fail bam uh, there we go so yeah okay now if uh, you have a Mac most of the times you can either use Final Cut or you can use iMovie me personally I use iMovie um, let's delete this real quick delete this um, so let's import our video movies um, I, I find I I find iMovie to be like the simplest and easiest way to do this um, so use iMovie um, don't try to be a pro and use Final Cut use Final Cut if you're doing a montage or something but if you're just uploading like commentaries or something then use uh, iMovie it's a lot easier so make sure you have this folding right uh, if optimized video is clicked unclick it it will take forever 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 if you have optimized video on basically what optimized video does is it reduces the file size and uh, for like fast forwarding or rewinding or like speeding up clicks or slowing down clips that's what it's for um, and for commentaries you're not really going to want to do that maybe if you have a montage and click optimize video or if you're doing a montage but if you're not then don't worry about it so unclick it make sure you have copy files clicked uh, basically yeah and let's do that let it uh, import real quick generating thumbnails is probably the thing that takes the longest but this is a short clip so it should go pretty fast and I have a really really good computer um, so um, it goes by pretty fast so we got a 23 second clip here um, now we're gonna go to export using QuickTime uh, make sure you do this make sure you pay close attention right here and follow everything I'm doing right here because it's very 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 important um, okay so just name it whatever test test number two 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 anyways um, export movie to mpeg4 I know this is really confusing because you just did an mp4 so why are you going to export it to mpeg4 again just do it I promise it works it makes the file size small and uh, yeah just do it please um, yeah and movie to mpeg4 options okay this is very very important to play a lot of attention guys Make sure your video format is on H.264. Make sure your data rate is at 13824 kilobits per second. So that's 13,824 kilobits per second. Make sure your image size is on 1280 by 720 HD. Um, a lot of people may like go up here and click it. Um, go ahead and do that if you want. I would say no. It doesn't improve anything. Um, I think your your Hopog only exports in 720 for for gaming, anyways. Um, some people say, oh, it exports in 1080. There's no difference, I promise. There's no difference. And plus, with the YouTube encoders, you're going to lose quality anyway. So it's not going to be that big. So don't worry about it. Just do this. I promise it works. You'll have the same video quality that I do. So 1280 by 720 HD. Frame rate on 30. Uh, make sure you have this on 30. Please make sure you do it. Frame rate on 30. Keyframe automatic. Uh, I don't know why. Just do it. Please just do it. Um, I don't know that you know the science behind it but I just know this works for my settings and if it works for me that's probably gonna work for you let's click on video auctions um, makes you faster encode single pass um, and make sure your encoding go by a lot faster um, but there's no difference honestly I tried it between multi-pass and single pass maybe a minuscule minuscule amount but nothing major so don't even worry about it just go with faster encode with single pass um, it works I promise look at my videos it works if you look at my videos in full 720 um, it's actually really 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 good um, so just use these settings please I promise it works um, so make sure all this is like mine uh, make sure your audio is on AAC um, LC 128 kilobits per second for the data rate 48 uh, kilohertz and encoding quality best streaming yeah I guess put this on 1450 by 1000 um, I don't think you really have to worry about it but yeah okay so this is the settings you're gonna need to need so pause this video do whatever you have to do um, go back look at the other stuff pause it and you know soak this in your brain and put it as yours if you put these settings like uh, if you put your settings like my settings they're gonna have the same video quality I promise okay so you know this is all done and what's really cool about iMovie is that it saves your settings so you don't have to go back and do this every single time just click on most recent segment settings and I'll have it done so I'm gonna let this export real quick. I might have to pause this video. I'm not too sure. It's less than a minute. 
<sighs> it's hard. I might pause this video. Yeah, I'll I'm, I'll cut it and bring it back whenever it's done. Okay, cool. So we're back. It got done. It didn't take very long. And uh, this is what you're going to have. And this is what you're going to upload to YouTube. Let's watch a video clip right real quick. Uh, no real quality loss at all. If anything, <laughs> it's made it better. I don't know. You might have a, a due to YouTube encoding. Um, it usually diminishes all video quality just a little bit. Or the quality of all videos just a little bit. So it might be a little bit worse than this. I wouldn't even expect anything bad, bad. If you look at my video, if you watch my videos in 720, it is really, really good. This is the quality you're going to have for your videos. Um, yeah, once again, I'll play it real quick for you guys. And yeah, um, this is what you're going to have. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, please just, you know, do these settings that works, I promise. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, if you want a video of um, some PC settings, then just let me know and I'll get on top of it and do it for you guys. Thanks guys for watching. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and play hard. Alright, peace.